come out here every now and then and find somebody out here that <laughs> decides they might want to stay in it. Definitely we get deer and squirrels, but mostly it's its own little mystic shrine that people travel for hundreds of miles to come out here and see. It's so happy here being just in the middle of the field. It also goes along with the, the famous prankster motto, which is nothing lasts. You can still even read the name up on the top. It gave their destination and their interests and their ideals all in one word. It had a refrigerator in there and it had some bunk beds. But this was a pretty rough crew and pretty soon they're ripping all that stuff out. Uh, so they had more room to play. They packed up all of a bunch of crazies in 1964 and headed off to New York. They were going to make the world's greatest home movie, but that was still just a ploy. That gave them an excuse to act that weird in front of that many people wearing this weird of stuff, driving this weird of a vehicle. They get pulled over by the cops. The cops didn't know what to do. They'd never seen people like this driving a vehicle like this, so they realized that it's best just to move them on. Let the next state deal with them. They wanted to have fun strictly for the sake of having fun and then finding out what it meant later on. The whole hippie mentality, this was in 64, and it was the start of it all. So this is our second reincarnation of Further, and it has the same front end, and the same look as the old bus, which was the main reason we got it. You don't just sit and look at it in the swamp rusting away. You actually can go out and have fun with it. I wish my school bus looked like this. This bus kicks any bus. <laughs> <laughs> the original painting is really posters. Another big area of Dad's was the Wizard of Oz. I'm finding stuff here that I've never seen before. I've never seen this praying mantis. <laughs> it's an enormous canvas. There's plenty of room for everybody to paint. Everybody has their own headsets. You can hear everybody. You can hear the people that are on top. You can hear the driver. He can hear you. And then from here, we run it through the sound effects so everybody can start sounding good and you get a little delay on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to hit their eyeballs and hit their eardrums. It's sensory overload. This bell means we're leaving. What is it they say? There's always uh, room for one more bozo on the bus. 